In every small town in America, about every year, there's a girl a whole town falls in love with. And maybe she marries a hometown boy, settles down. She's someone looked to for stability and joy. This story is about such a girl. Her name is Alex. And yes, she married that boy, but she didn't stay home. Pulling a shiny red horse trailer and wearing a new wedding ring, she left. From a good distance, it seemed as if her world was about perfect. A little fame, a son, she had everything. But then something unexpected happened. Something so tragic, she couldn't speak of it. After that, all the love and joy went out of her. The light about flickered out. But God's love has a way of bringing us back, of nourishing the littlest seed of hope. This is a story about that kind of love. Oh, that girl is my daughter, Alex. Well, if that's the worst it is, maybe you don't need an assistant. Alex, what? Alex, darn it! Oh, Alex, oh! Gabby, I, I need a job. Here? When you've been all over the world? I haven't had any offers from the world. I need a job. Well, I need you worse than you need the job. You got it. Oh, you don't have to wear pearls. I do it for femininity. I, I heard about, darn it. I, I got things I gotta do. Sure, uh, okay. later then. Mind if I join you? Gabby likes me to help her eat lunch. 
And who might you be? John M. Royster. Where do you live? Over there. With my dad, Shorty Royster. He used to be a famous cowboy. And now? Oh, you know, he drinks a little. Sorry. Where do you live? With my dad. Do you have any kids? No. Any horses? No. Who do you love, then? I don't know. No stock, Dad? I don't get much out of it since Mama died. You know, we used to consider the horses our babies after you got grown and gone. Mama would want you to have horses. One, anyway. No. It's something to be shared. With you gone and Sam dead. Well, I have to say my grandson's name. Dave ain't coming back here, is he? No. I'd consider restocking if I thought you'd be staying. I can't promise you that. Didn't expect you could. If you want to talk about it. I don't. Yeah, when you're ready. Did you talk about it after Mama died? Until nobody would listen no more. I talked it out and felt better. Your church friends have lots of answers, don't they? No, I don't know about that. The day Clary died, I set her bed up in the den so she could watch the live oak. I brought the babies around so they could kick up their heels for her. There were flowers everywhere. From her Sunday school class, from the volunteers at the hospital, from everybody. And she just looked out at the blue sky. I started to go feed the horses, but something, I held her hand and she squeezed mine I leaned over to pick up a get well card. And she just slipped away. I sat there for a long time just holding her hand. I'm sorry you had to go through it alone, Dad. Oh, I wasn't alone. God? The same as he's with you, Alex. He's been with you through all of it. I sure didn't know he was there. What happened was God's will concerning you. God's will? To let a little boy... Die? The only peace you'll ever have is when you accept God's with you and everything that happens. He can turn the worst tragedy into good for those who love him. He's in everything. We accept that and we live in peace. Or we don't, and we never find peace. I just can't believe that anymore. Okay, daughter.
show you something. What is it? Hey, just come here. Say hi to Horace. Hi to Horace. Haven't we met? You know, he's a Christmas horse. Oh, really? You ride him and wishes come true. I see. You want him? Just like that. You have a place to keep him? Maybe. Works for me? Not now. Clay, tell her. Tell her, Clay. Hi, I'm Clay Powers, the vet. John M. here thinks that horse would make somebody a fine animal. I'm not looking for a horse. I am. Will you take him then? No barn. That could be a problem. She likes us a lot. Horace and me are going to live with her. We'll see, John M. We'll see. Fell down is all. If I ever catch you laying a hand on him, I'm gonna... I told him if he hurt that little boy, he'd have to deal with you. Like I don't have enough to say grace over, you add social work, darn it. Well, at least it'd be a fair fight. It ain't smart to mess with other people's kids. Even if they don't want them, they don't want you telling them anything. I am not mixing up in that, and the horse goes too. Okay, everyone, let's get started here.
Well, Horace, I guess you found yourself a home after all. You're not so bad. We'll keep you. I want my horse and my boy, too. Well, you're not getting Horace, and you're, you're sure not getting John M. Now, you, you, you just get on out of here. Now, now, you, you just get out of here. Now, wait a minute. Get back now. You stay away. You stay away from me. Get back. Get back. I try, it starts to work, and then we get back to this. Keep trying. He'll get well, won't he, Dr. Clay? He's real sick. I'm sure trying, son. I know what to do. What? We'll pray him well. Good plan, son. Lord, make Horace okay. He's a good horse, and he's my friend. Please. Amen to that, Lord. Please, Lord. Amen to that, Lord. Horace, we love you. for number 393, Silent Night.
I've carried a sorrow in my heart because I never prayed for Sam. Not when he was alive. Not even when he was dying. We were far away from you then. All these months I've wondered if I had prayed, would you have spared him? I guess I figured you didn't care. Now I know you've always cared. Please spare this animal. John M. loves him. Do it for his sake. For Dad's. For mine. I'm happy to report life for my daughter Alex got a good bit better. Love did it. Well, 